Hello, 200 comic readers out there. My comic friend line here. Welcome everybody to my comic review. In this review, I've been reviewing a DC comic of Rebirth that came out this past week. And what comic book I'm talking about? I'm talking about Green Arrow, issue number 33, Trial of Two Cities, part one is the brand new story arc. And since this comic book did come out this past week, I will let you guys know that I am going to give away spoilers. So if you wish not to know what happened in Green Arrow number 33, just stop the video now, go to your nearest comic store, read this comic book, and then after you're done reading the comic book, come back to this video, and if you'd like to hear my thoughts about this comic book, then you can do that. Or if you would like to know what happened in Green Arrow number 33, I will tell you what it's about, but I am going to give away spoilers. So without further ado, let's get into this new story arc, Trial of Two Cities Part 1. So it starts off with a news anchor, talks about the uh, landscape of Star City and uh, the lower middle class all being vanished and whatnot, like everything being different. There's this uh, sawmill guy who's trying to chop down th a tree, and we have Green Eye and Amico who come and save the day, and uh, basically everything looks like everything will be okay, but not really, because in Star Tower, Star City, Mariah Queen goes to the Ninth Circle Headquarters and what the Ninth Circle Headquarters tell her is that basically she promised a hundredfold return in their investment and the board has actually wanted to say that their time has run out and they called a vote that both her and Broderick are finished and the Ninth Circle always collects its dues. So Mariah Queen does not look too happy after that. And then we get this scene right here with some artwork I will show you guys right now and it's really good artwork I must say and as you can see from the artwork I showed Oliver Queen goes to see Diana or Black Canary and then after she gives uh, him a haircut let's just say that they are once again in love and this is kind of annoying me because their relationships like an on again off again they're together then they're not then they're together again then they're not again it's either you're together or you're not anymore. Am I right or am I not? I mean, I don't know if I'm the only one that saw this from reading Green Arrow all along. But looking over that, we go into Mount Fuji, Japan, where Shado makes her return. And it's been a really long while since we've seen Shado in the Green Arrow comics. And she has a talk with Dante. And basically, if you read the Green Arrow Volume 1, The Death and Life of Our Queen, where... Amiko destroyed the Inferno and everything. He asks her for a task. The mother of all tasks. The Ninth Circle wants Mariah Queen dead. And she wants her to do that. So then Star Tower, Mariah Queen goes to Broderick saying that they need to talk. And that saying, you know, I always trusted you and everything. And, uh, you know all of what's been going on and he knows that the Ninth Circle voted against them and uh, thinking that they lost but Ryan Queen says that he lost in a very brutal way and I'm not going to show the image because it is very very graphic. So then we have Amiko who talks with uh, Katie or Kate the lawyer and it seems that remember when everything was a whole case of Wendy Poole being dead? Well, Wendy Poole is actually alive and well. And the only reason why there's because of that, like, uh, the father says, you know, he wants to help, but, you know, Amiko and uh, Dan explained about how the forces are, and he doesn't want to lose his daughter again. And he doesn't want to allow that to happen. And then, uh, with all that, we have the whole lovey dovey thing, one page of Ava Queen and Black Canary again. And then we have the cemetery where Ava Queen talks with Kate about uh, the trial. And, uh, you know, he wants to just try to take back the city. But see, she doesn't know that he is a superhero, Green Arrow. So with the gravestone, he actually picks it up and then throws it on the ground. And somebody calls Oliver Queen. And get ready for this spoiler. It wasn't Kate that was calling him. It was actually Oliver Queen's mother to be continued what a cliffhanger next mother knows best wow i mean i've heard about stories about the father but the mother now uh, 
isn't this? That's going to be something really interesting to know about for the issue, but wow. This was really awesome. Uh, rating I would give for this. Ah. Uh, this is a tough one. Like It was like really good, but I'm going to have to say between... Between a 4 to 4.5 out of 5, basically, almost, I mean, I would say that this would be Book of the Week, between a 4 to 4.5 out of 5. It was excellent artwork and a great story, a great new story arc of Trial of Two Cities, and uh, Mariah Queen is on the verge of revenge, and Alva Queen discovered that, uh, you know, her, his mother is still around or something, and uh, lots of stuff, lots of big stuff happening in this comic book, but I'll definitely be looking into the next issue and see what happens after that. But with that, everybody, that's my comic review of Green Arrow number 33, Trial of Two Cities, Part 1. I have two, one. Very nice. Part 1. <laughs> it's been a long day, everybody. Believe me. Before I go, don't forget to check out sources of ComicFrontline.com, SoulFortPodcast.com, and the YouTube game channel, Frontline Gaming Zone, where all your number one source for comic and gaming news, views, and a whole bunch more. Click that subscribe button so it'll be in your subscription box and you won't miss out on sound any videos that we upload for you guys daily with new comic books that come out weekly or events, what have you. And if you would like, in the comment section, please leave your comments, likes, dislikes, any questions you want to ask me. Or what was your favorite thing about this issue and were you happy Shadow was back? Because I sure as hell was, but there's just lots of stuff that's going to be going on. I can't wait to read the next issue to see what happens. And until next time, everybody, to all your comic degrees out there. My conference saying take care, and as always, don't forget, keep watching. Later, everybody.